ever wondered how a Belgian martial artist became a Hollywood sensation only to then disappear from the limelight? That's the untold story of Jean-Claude Van Damme. Born in Brussels, Van Damme's early life was far from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. He worked odd jobs, showing up in film sets as an unpaid extra, all while honing his martial arts skills and chasing his acting dreams. Then came the year 1988, a pivotal moment in Van Damme's career. His electrifying performance in Bloodsport catapulted him to stardom, turning him into a household name. His martial arts prowess combined with his undeniable charm made him the action hero everyone was talking about. Yet, with fame came challenges. The pressures of Hollywood began to weigh on Van Damme. He grappled with bipolar disorder, struggled with substance abuse, and found himself entangled in legal disputes, including a public feud with Frank Dux. His personal life became a controversial spectacle, further adding to his struggles. As the late 90s rolled around, Van Damme's star power began to wane. His films weren't the box office successes they once were, leading him to pivot towards direct-to-video films. His career seemed to be on a downward spiral. But Van Damme wasn't ready to throw in the towel just yet. In 2008, he starred in JCVD, a film where he played a fictionalized version of himself. This role marked a turning point in his life. It showed a man grappling with his issues, a man willing to reinvent himself. Today, Van Damme continues to act, even hinting at a potential comeback fight. Despite the ups and downs, he remains an icon of the action genre, with an undeniable influence on martial arts films and pop culture. His story serves as a reminder that the path to success is rarely straightforward, and even heroes have their struggles. So that's the untold truth of what happened to Jean-Claude Van Damme, a tale of early struggles, rise to fame, challenges, and the determination to keep going. A story of a man who became an action hero, faced his demons, and continues to redefine himself.